beautiful divas in this video we're talking about how to avoid love bombing and never be love bombed again if you watched my last video from this series on love bombing you saw i spoke about what is love bombing and the 10 signs of love bombing and now we're ready to complete the series by talking about how to avoid love bombing and to never get love bombed again. So a quick welcome to all our new viewers watching this and a warm welcome back to our current YouTube family. So how do we avoid love bombing? The first tip is, ladies, you've got to take it slow. Okay, so we live in a very fast dating culture today. Swipe left, swipe right, meet quickly and have sex on date one, date two, date, two, date three, which by the way, I do not recommend. And this is the culture that promotes fast connection, fast relationships, and that causes a lot of women to get love bombed, where they are meeting these men, getting into relationships very fast with them, and then recognizing that these men were not real at all. And so if you want to avoid getting love bombed and you want to avoid love bombing, what you really have to do is start adopting the attitude of taking it slow. This means that even when a love bomber comes fast on you, even when he's doing all the right things in dating, you still want to say, you know what, this feels good. He's doing everything right. He's moving towards me. He is giving me presents, taking me out. He is giving me compliments. And yet I'm going to take it slow with him. So what does it look like to take it slow? It looks like at the start, not meeting a man for more than say once or twice in a week maximum when you start dating someone. So usually love bombers want to see you today, then they want to see you tomorrow, and then they want to see you one day later again, and then they want to text with you all day long. And this way, when you are determined to take it slow, you're going to slow down the love bomber. Okay, you're going to say, I can't make it tomorrow, but I'm happy to see you on the weekend. Yeah, and this is a great way to avoid getting love bombed because generally men who are love bombers don't like it. They don't like it when you show your boundaries. They don't like it when you take it slow. And so what, what will happen is when you decide to take it slow, no matter how much you like a man, no matter how great gestures and grand gestures he is doing, when you decide to take it slow, either the man is going to fall off because he's too impatient and he's going to guilt trip you and reveal himself to you really fast or he's going to say okay right and when he says okay that means you are most likely not with a love bomber and yeah you just have a man who's excited to see you and in that case when you take it slow he's going to probably feel a little sad but he's going to still respect your boundaries and say okay tip Number two on how to avoid love bombing. Be in evaluation energy, ladies. All the time, almost all the time, I see my clients that when they come to me and they're dating this man they like, they start to fall in love so quickly. And this happens especially with love bombers because they're doing all the right things, right? And we just want to fall in love. We want to become the smitten kitty and we want to have the dream of our grand love come true. And so it's so tempting to just sort of go with the flow and lose yourself with the man and fall in love. Now, if you want to avoid getting love bombed, it is in your best interest to not be in this smitten kitty energy and to fall in love with the man who's doing everything right. But to be in what I like to teach my clients, evaluation energy. Now, when a woman is in evaluation energy, she is so attractive to men because she's not giving herself away 
at the first sign of attention. She's not falling in love with somebody who's doing everything right because this woman has options. You know, when women show up in evaluation energy and they evaluate men and they're in this energy of, are you good enough for me? Um, do I want to spend the rest of my life with you? Do I find you attractive? How do you make me feel? Do you make me feel good or do you make me feel bad on dates? How do you make me feel in between dates are you keeping in touch frequently or not right so when a woman is in evaluation energy men feel it and it actually makes you look like a high value woman to men because it shows them that you have options that you're not desperate that you're not going to just fall in love with the first man who gives you attention and validation and so actually when you stay in this evaluation energy around men you are going to see that you are not going to get over invested in a man, which I think is what happens a lot, especially when you have a love bomber. So you're not going to get over invested, which means you're going to avoid getting love bombed. And at the same time, if you are dating the right kind of man, he is going to feel more intensely attracted towards you. Now, tip number three and the last tip for this video on how to avoid getting love bombed is really to let things bake. Okay, so what do I mean by let things bake? I mean that you want to at least date for three to four months in these energies. You want to take it slow for at least three to four months. You want to be in evaluation energy for at least three to four months. You want the connection to build with the man. You want to get to know him. You, you want to spend time with him, but you still want all of this to be a slow burn. Okay, you want to put it in the oven and you want to let it bake. You don't want it like fast cooking, two minute instant noodles, okay? This is a mindset shift that needs to happen if you want to avoid getting love bombed. Because a lot of the times, the women, those of us who are getting love bombed, I mean, it's not our fault, but let's face it, you know, we do have that tendency to, you know, when somebody comes and promises us the world, it can be so tempting to just sort of go with it and think like if I just go at, at this pace with the man if he's going fast i go fast with him and if he wants whatever he wants me to do with him i do with him then i will get into a relationship faster but i want you to shift this mindset i want you to shift from the mindset of instant noodles instant pasta which is really bad for you right to consuming salads you know to consuming protein which is slow release of blood sugar in your body and actually gives you sustained energy for the long time. So when you think of why so many of us get love bombed, it's because we just go into things too quickly and instantly ourselves. And if we want to avoid getting love bombed, we have to adopt another mindset that in order to really have a connection with someone, in order to really build a deep and lasting and sustainable bond with a man, we've got to give it time. We've got to let it bake. We've got to go the slow burn path and not the fast and fizzled out path. Okay, so I hope this was helpful, ladies. If this was helpful, please do click subscribe on my channel so you can get new content from me each week when I release these helpful videos on how to date like a diva and attract your dream relationship. Ladies, I also want to make sure that you know that you are welcome to leave a comment. Let me know if your experiences and leave a like on this video if this was helpful to you and share it with your friends. I really appreciate your support and I really look forward to continue serving you this year. And before I leave, ladies, don't forget, for those of you who are looking to attract your dream man this year, I have a stellar track record of getting my clients excellent results with my soulmate attraction process. And you can find and start my programs on my website, sammywinder.com. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you next week on another brand new video. And we're going to be talking about feminine energy. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Mm -hmm.